All right, Let's see, it's recording. All right, guys and ladies, it's Powerhouse Paper Airplane Rogers here with the infamous double R8 aircraft. Um, this will be a tutorial. Sorry, it's been a while, guys. This aircraft, I'm not really going to go too much into the build tonight because it's late and I, my daughter, I don't know. She wakes up a lot, so I know she um, should do a surprise wake up for me. It won't be too great. So, but anyway, you're gonna need about three sheets of paper. I got my 32 weight paper I'm using. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start first. Most importantly is the body, obviously. So I'm gonna show you guys the basis, the body you want to start with. So what we're gonna do here is want to fold a piece of paper. It would be in um portrait mode, a portrait, we're going to get this part folded here, so. and yeah guys, I just haven't been able to load it really any content because of my life so hectic, trying to get a move into a, you know, bigger house. And it's just been um, you know, chaotic and everything. And then there's no fact that my daughter does not sleep. So there's that. We're gonna then flip it over. And then fold it here. Make it even though. So, so you're gonna get this even as possible when we do this fold. Like this, you know. Obviously, I'm turning it back over. I'm going to fold this. Not, but don't lock it down yet, because you got to get it. Uh, make sure everything's straight. Then do them together. So, okay. This here. Yeah, I would just like to say I've been testing the double R8, and the flights have been amazing. Amazing is far superior to that of the double R7, which I love the double R7, but this one, especially being a rubber band launch, is amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna take this part and fold it over in here. That's good. The same thing here. Oh, hey, and um, I don't know if you guys know, but do you guys know that the um, I think it's a single single engine um, Russian fires um, fighter aircraft supposed to be unveiled sometime at the end of this month. I heard sources saying it was at, um it was going to be tomorrow, but I'm not too sure. But I, I can't wait. I cannot wait for that. Then when we have this, also this aircraft will require internals. You're going to have to put them in there, so we can't skip that. Like I said, I'm not going to just go into the all of the build tonight. I'm going to some of it. Then I'm going to do a long build tomorrow to try to complete it. But then, um, as you can see, so now we have the aircraft like this. And i got to remember how to do the wings. Okay, so now we're going to fold it back over. That even now we're gonna fold get all my stuff straight. But well, you guys hopefully get your stuff straight. Now I'm going to this is gonna be where the wings are gonna so when we build the wings we can put them on there. So we're going to kind of go down at an angle with it. Like this. Same thing. Mine is not very even, but hopefully your guys will be in a correct little bit. Because you know we're gonna um, put wings onto the aircraft. Honestly. Um, so basically, basically this is what the body will look like. 
when you fold it up. Um, but a lot of things can change on it. So if you like, depending on what you want to go for. And then we're going to take this piece here and we're going to fold it. Up. So we get it right here. And we're going to obviously do the same to the other side. So yeah, the double R8 is beast. I had it launched it several times, and I'll try to get a video of me over at lunch and have it successful. I know I did one video that was horrible with it. It was just a horrible video I did. Because the things that you see right here, um, I guess you could call it, they're, they're um, the elevators for the aircraft. But um, I build those separately and put them. I could do it with this, but it's just... The aircraft really doesn't like that too much when you do that, so that okay and it doesn't matter if this overlaps just it can overlap a little bit but you, know, you don't want to go crazy with it okay so then after we have all of this done then you just push that out and then you know, open it back up there we're going to put some internals in there okay so um Gotta build the internals. See, so I'm gonna those you to pay for. I have some paper that's basically scrap paper already. I'll fold this down. There. So you guys should, you know how I do my internals, right? I don't know if I necessarily need it long enough. I'll put it. I'm just trying to get you guys um, just want to get started on this because I have promised it for so long and I haven't done videos. Now I did do the um, <clears throat> the YouTube short of my rocket copter and basically it's like a rocket. It's a well, it's a paper rock rubber and lunch rocket. I launched up into the air like a dart. And the objective of it is is that um, it's supposed to um, simulate Elon Musk um, rockets when they land, you know, on their uh, rear end. Well, obviously this isn't this doesn't do that, but what it does is after it reaches a certain altitude, it'll um, turn itself over and start spinning down and coming down like it was. I don't really know the seed is it a, is it a maple seed or a sycamore seed? You know that one bladed seed. That, float spins around like a helicopter that's what it does so a lot of you may see the flights and we see the one video I did you can't see me launch it up because I just I gotta have somebody really holding the camera for that I can't even do that with or I'm gonna have to do it with a head mount camera but yeah it's really hard to um, you know get that okay so this looks okay and um, but yeah, so that was what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to help it come down, it goes up fast, comes down, you know, pretty slow, so it doesn't injure injure itself. But um, I just I call it a rocket copter because you know no one really has a good rubberman lunch helicopter out there or anything that does you know. But but um, I am working on a new one that will come down um, half half the speed of that one comes down it will come down much slower so hopefully i'll have that uh, out soon but right now i can't like i can't really get much footage because it's raining outside so although my aircraft can handle the water uh, my phone cannot so i can fly them in the rain but my phone would not and it's been raining here in georgia for like 10 days straight now just it is ridiculous. I just every day I wake up, I'm like, really? Again? It's just, it's just, it's just a lot. But the rain helps life, so it's needed. But um, yeah, it's just um, I'm, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Thank you for the three the 300 subs I have. Very thankful for that. I never thought I would get past 200 to be honest with you. Um, 
it's not like I really deserve more because I don't put a lot of content out there. I do apologize. It's just the life I have right now is it is so chaotic. It's so chaotic. And then so now that we have these internals, so this internal right here, you're gonna put it in here. It's gonna sit right here. And this is gonna give it strength. You don't now you can build long enough to where it goes here if you want, but that's not necessary because you're gonna build a head unit that's gonna because this is not gonna be the, the head for it. But um, when you're doing that, you probably have to let's open this. One. So we're gonna put it, you know, right there at that little crease. So let me kind of like this fold point right here. But you don't want to go down too far on it because then when you fold it, it's gonna <clears throat> wrinkle up. So yeah, you probably get really, really irritated with that. Get my tape here, and I don't have my tape scissors with me. I'm using uh, spare of the moment scissors. Because if I go in my room, my daughter will wake up uh, screaming, and um, it is hard to get her to sleep. So I got that. I'm going to go ahead and get this one in here. So yeah, like I said, this video is not going to be long at all tonight, guys. I am sorry, but yeah, for that. Tomorrow will be a very long video because I'm going to start, start early as soon as I get my daughter to sleep and then come. And hopefully she gets to sleep for a while. Get this other internal in here. This tape. <clears throat> I know a lot of people use the tape that has the, where you pull it, you peel it down and then it's because I don't know, for some reason, I just don't like using that tape. I like having a roll of tape, then, you know, pull it down itself and cut it with some scissors. So it would be more efficient, though, if I had a tape a tape cutter or something. It would probably work a lot better than what I'm, my method, because now that I cut this tape, it doesn't come out even. I'm, it's always, like, off size. So... Yeah, right here. As you can see, I'll um, here and let's see. And then like I said, let me see for this first. And then these come up like so. Basically this is the body of the double R eight. Um but I still gotta put the head unit on there before. I can actually encase all this tape now, but then when I put the head unit on there, it'll add more weight, and that helps with weight in the, to the center of the gravity in this aircraft, so I'm really gonna wait for that. But, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Get that kind of straight. These, like so. Yeah, so. Um, I'm going to end the video right here, guys. I know it's very short, and I do apologize that I will be trying to spit some more videos out with this um, aircraft done. And then I'll even do a, another Revan Hitch video to clip it on there. And then after I build it, we're going to fly the aircraft, th th this very aircraft. Um, I don't know if I should coat it in tape. Uh, I really like for you guys to just coat in tape because that's what my airplane really consists of is being tape. You don't have to coat them in tape. But if you really want something to last, you really want to experience, you know, something nice, you know, and it is just, it is a paper airplane, but you, you want to be able to push it to as far as you can so you can learn more. Like I said, you know, when, I, when it's coated in tape and just like this part right here, I'm going to build wings separately and you can, you know, um, you know, put the wings onto the body. But if you decide to change number, like, you know, what, I don't, I want to see what it does if the wings are, you know. Um, swept forwards or, or smaller or longer or more swept back um, That's my purpose that that's the purpose of Not my purpose in life, but maybe I don't know, but that's um, The purpose of why I do the tape for airplanes And a lot of people think it's sort of make them waterproof. It really wasn't to make them waterproof The real reason why I coated them in tape was it provided better um, you know aerodynamic efficiency so you know, it would go. It would go to the air much smoother than if it was a 
piece of paper because paper on very small microscopic level is very rough. And even on that microscopic level with paper, you need it. We need all we can get out of it. So with it being smooth, it's great. And another thing too is, you know, I throw that aircraft, one of the, um, you know, by the shoulder mount right here for the reason because that also helps. Without it having the handle, I mean, the handle probably doesn't add too much uh, drag or anything, but with um, it not having that there, it allows you guys to be able to have your aircraft come down if it's on a road, but it's going to land and it's going to slide like an aircraft. And if you really get really good with the throw like how I can, you can actually throw it hard enough, you can um, make it skid off the road and fly off, you know, like the aircraft. Now, when you add a hitch to it, it kind of, it kind of, well, not kind of, but it really takes away the sliding ability, but you get more efficient, you know, flights and speeds, and heights, uh, air aloft, you know, in air, how long it'll be. So, yeah. But anyway, guys and girls, if there are any, um, this has this is a tape of Airplane Rogers. Remember to make sure to like and share, and subscribe, please, if you liked the video. And um, guys, just hang in there with me. I, I feel so bad about saying it because all I've said it so many times, and I have, you know, not really improved much of anything, especially my video quality. But slowly moving there. I have a new phone, you know, and it's not the best phone in the world, but it's better than what I had. So yeah, just uh, remember guys, like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I love all you guys, and like they say, keep them flying.